Hey guys, Ultra Gamer 14 here, and today I'm going to be starting a series on Forza Motorsport 5. Yep, I know people will be saying that Forza 6 has come up, but I just want to do a series kind of like just to kind of remember it because I'm hoping to get Forza in the next Forza 6 in the next couple of weeks. Um, no guarantees, though. No, no, no guarantees. So I've been starting a few, about a few championships. I haven't been able to find one that I've been able to, I can just start that I want to actually worth being in, which is a shame. But as we go back here, I'm going to be do it continuing in my A class, just doing a few races. I'm not sure how many though. Depends on how long you want the episodes to be, and uh, yeah, let's get straight into this. I'm going to be choosing the Renault Spark SRT 01E, the Formula E car. The reason I am, I got this free DLC, and yeah, you might be looking at it saying it's slow, but it makes it more fun. I would blitz the competition if I went with my Lotus 211, so I'm going to go for my Formula E car. I've got five races left. When we're going to Le Mans, I've been around the circuit several times in the open wheel cars, so I'm hoping that's just no. Hopefully, hopefully there's no really long straights because I get swamped by everyone on the straights. And uh, I, after since the Alonso video, I've moved. I've moved house. Um, we're selling in. Still got boxes, but that's we're gonna get them sorted. I started high school, and uh, I've been there a week or so. I'm really, really settling in well. So, where do I start on the grid? I start my usual position, 14th. And let's get into the race. I'm driver level 8, affinity level 2, because I've been driving this car, car quite a lot in the championships. And we're off! Some nice launch. This is the key advantage. The key to winning in this car is the launch and the brake. But as you can see, we've been completely swamped by the two cars behind us but they're gonna have to break really early as I can and as I can afford to break quite late I'm gonna have a hard time trying to avoid everyone I'm gonna oh I got blockaded a little bit of contact with the people in front oh I've bashed up that Porsche a bit but we get through the first few corners with little incident I go around the outside of him good pass into 10th place we'll be able to get a bronze prize up into ninth. If there's a congestion, we can take advantage of it. We're up into eighth, and he's completely swamped us in the Ferrari. There, had to brake hard to to minimise the damage done to the Lamborghini. We've taken two of them. Can we make it three? No, he's gone straight back past us, and we're down into eighth place. We're going to be really fighting. I think I'm hoping that we'll be able to get up into the gold category out here at Le Mans. I haven't decided if I'm going to do two or three races yet, we'll find that out pretty soon. I've passed a quite a few cars, maybe a bit on the dirty side, but I've passed them nevertheless. I'm up into fourth, but the Ferrari 458 just goes straight past me. They've kind of blocked off the um, 599 there. But look how early has to break, look how much I gain on him. I've had to, I had to even break. But he's going to stop pulling from away from me about now. And I've had to, I've got over the curbs, up into fourth, he's not, he's not there, I'm going to gain time, oh I've gone past him, the Audi has had resistance, he's gone past me, I probably won't get again, oh he's forced me horribly wide, oh, I'm going to, I might lose some positions, luckily I've gotten away with it, we've completed the first lap and I've gone from 14th to 4th, so I must say that must be a pretty good lap. Oh, 
We break into that six section, nearly lose the back end of the car. Virtual logic. We've passed him, we're up into third, but he's probably gonna come back at me on this on this run down to the next corner. Oh, I've, I nearly lost the car there. I'm really struggling for control. And I've taken a skid. I'm probably going to lose use minimal. Very, very minimal flashbacks. So I'm going to have to just soldier on with it. But I'm really struggling with for control here. This will probably be a two lap. Thing because my battery on my phone is actually running quite low so I won't be able to do a third race but I'll I will try and do three race um, episodes in the future and also my birthday is in a is in hopefully if this goes up on the day it's supposed to it would be a week until for my birthday, my 13th birthday, and that means I'm probably this might I'm 50 50 on this, but I might be doing a I might do a one out, I might do a special of me doing my I'm gonna do a flashback there, but I'm gonna limit myself to three. Oh, that didn't do anything too much. I still left a big pile of dust behind me. Anyway, I'm gonna try and do a a race on my F1 2012 career mode offline, not on YouTube. Cause I'm really enjoying F1 2012, but I've already started F1 the Alonso career. I don't really want to do me straight onto a third F1 game. And also, if I'm hoping to get myself a computer, and so to any total war fans out there if that if that happens i'm gonna try and bring some let's plays on that on total war because i've only been playing them for a couple of months but i really enjoy the game anyway back to the racing virtual logic it's got gotten a bit wide oh he's forced us wide again i'm really struggling to pass this line even if i do we get on it's on the long straights where he can just swamp back past me it's on the final lap I'm running out of opportunities to get myself into the goal positions. I'm up into third. And I'm just struggling to keep the car on the wide turns. I don't really know what it is. It must be my dodgy driving, to be honest. Of course. Hit the apex well there. The top speed of this car is only about 150, 160. I think it's probably the max. I haven't got anywhere near that, but then again, I haven't been on any long straights. He's <laughs> taking the chicane well. He's gaining on me, but I don't think he's going to catch me because there are not any really long, any long straights here at this, at the Bugatti circuit. I like the circuit. I'm, not, I'm surprised I didn't race it here in Formula 1. They might have done, but if they haven't, I'm surprised because even back in the in the back in the olden days, oh, it's a bit aggressive there. Oh, I hit him! I hit him. That's probably my chance gone. I'm gonna lose second. I'm not gonna lose third. I could have won the race there, but third is probably about probably I wouldn't have gone much higher to be honest. So if if on the M1 hour special if I if I'm going to do it it will probably be the Canadian Grand Prix because that's my, my favourite track. I've got 8,000 credits there with all my assist percentage and the driver Todd difficulty all that. I've got some XP. Do I level up? No, I'll probably level up next race so I'll do some upgrades. Continue. We're leaving leaving the Bugatti circuit at, at Le Mans. Oh, I've, pl I've gone around this track at, um, in, in the Lotus. It is such a nice track. I, I'm not even joking. It is. I th if this is the right one, if you have all the, you have the chicanes, they are so fun to drive around. 
I'm looking forward to going around this track. And this and Forza Motorsport 5 has definitely persuade, um, persuaded me to get um, Forza Motorsport 6 and Forza Horizon, two very, very good games. This is not a very long track, but it's a challenging one. There's one long straight. I will be vulnerable there. I think where the braking zones are, this is where I can really get a break. 14th, as usual, let's start the second and final race of the episode in the golden Formula E, Renault powered Formula E car. We start on the corn, we get a good start, we, we spin into, we spin into gust. Bunto 342 and damage his car. We've been swamped, but we're gonna get him back under braking. I lose control. Go wide, just keep it off the grass. I got a really nice launch into through that corner. I'm gonna take all of them around the inside. A quick change of direction, I nearly lost control. I'm up into sixth, tenth place, getting four places off the start. I've passed another two of them. Colin Beck 1975. I've taken him through. Maniac Weevil is going to be my next target. I've made my way up to 7th, but this is where I'm going to be vulnerable. They're going to swamp me, but I've got four laps to make it back up again, so it won't be too much of a difference. I've hit him. I haven't got any damage, though. He's slowed right down. Not really sure why. Ver vertical. Virtual logic is just it's just pulling away even in the Audi it's just he's left me for dust and the Ferrari has come is gonna come straight back past me if he takes a little bit off the racing line. I'm giving him room and when I give him room he goes straight past me. None of them have followed seat, but then again I might have blocked them off a little bit. But he has to break very early so I can get him here. I might have left him a little and not enough room. But I got him anyway, back up into six. Going down the hill for the final corner. And and this will be one lap completed. I've taken eight places and I'm chasing virtual logic for fifth place. I break very hard or I have to go around him. That was a problem I had from the fast braking zones. If you want me to change to the Lotus 2D11, put it in the comments down below. And if you want to be friends to me, if you send me a friend request, if you like subscribers want to um, become friends with me, simply simply put, if there's a mess in the message, subscribe Ultra Gamer 14 subscriber, and I will and I will likely accept you. If you just put that, then, and if you get it wrong, I won't I won't reject you. Just I'll um, but I will like say I will ask you to uh, all my body's my downfalls and my body's got damaged, but I will like say like um, uh, you need to put this down. I'm not gonna I'm trying try not to be too harsh, but if you're just gonna be a troll or a hater, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kick you out. You're not gonna be. I'll just. Unfriend you or whatever it is. I'm I'm new to um Xbox, so I haven't got the greatest of knowledge. I wouldn't too bothered about setting up like Xbox Live yet because I'm probably I'm gonna get it on my, on my birthday in a week, and and also I just wanted to play Forza. That's the third. That's the second lap. I'm on to lap three. I'm up into fifth. I think I'm leaving Virtual Logic behind. I break a nice launch. Water scar band. Oh, oh! I've hit him. I've hit him. Oh, that's really put my race in jeopardy. I'm gonna have to rejoin. I'm gonna have to fight for a silver place because my suspension, my steering, drive line is damaged. It's going to be a real challenge driving the car around. I can't afford one. The two things I can't afford to affect is the transmission and the brake, the brakes, and the engine because 
that basically takes away all my advantages and that will just ruin any chance I've had. And the Ferrari's gone off. He's gone off. Must have had a really bad corner. But I haven't been able to see if make it initiative. He is gonna just go ahead, just gonna drive away into the distance because I can barely drive my car and I'm struggling to get to 100 miles an hour. The people behind me might even catch me. Look at the Audi virtual logic. He's just gone straight past me. And I'm level with him. He's gonna go past me. I've got a queue of cars all going straight past me. I'm gonna have to switch to the inside. I've take I've taken the positions back. But it's gonna be a real challenge defending the last lap. We're coming downhill to start the final lap of the race. He breaks into the corner. I can go straight past him, but he's probably going to take me back. I didn't even pass him. That's how slow I'm going. He takes me again. He's just going into the distance, but I could take him on the inside. Oh, horrible skid there, but I get the place. The top five are well away into the distance after that little incident there. So I don't think I'll be seeing them again for the rest of the race unless there's a bit of an accident. And or oh, a massive log jam. And seeing that this is not F1 manager, even though the game looks amazing, this is next year, so I'll be very surprised if I see any log jams. We're going down to the chicane here. I could barely turn. I'm already I'm on the I'm on the gravel. I've, I've lost most of my my advantage. They're straight they caught up to me straight away. They're gonna I'm just I'm just gonna have to accept it. I'm gonna lose so much time on this straight. I'm gonna defend them all I can. The McLaren's gone past into seventh. That's probably the last I'm gonna see of him. I'm gonna try and defend desperately from all three of them. They're all queuing up. I might not even get a bronze. This is how bad the wrong this race has gone for me. I'm on the grass. They haven't made a way past, but they've all gone now. I've lost seventh play. Seventh place to virtual logo. I cut the grass a little bit. But that, I won't see him again. That's I'm going to have to settle for the bronze here. Unless there's one last to charm. He's gone past. I'm down to eight. Hang on, a last twist. I snatched seventh. What a race that seems so promising. I walk away with oh, with a silver by a whisker. I escape with a silver. My car is battered on the outside as well as on the inside. But it's been a very exciting two races. I got six thousand eight hundred and eleven credits. Um, silver I got some XP and I'm up into level 9 35,000 credits getting closer to the level 3 affinity level I'm going to do some upgrades on the cars but I'm going to quit here I don't want to go on to the next race because it's only going to be a 2 race episode This is what it looks like when it's not battered, as it usually is after every race. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to see what I I usually do on my uh, well, off off air. I go I usually go upgrade my cars. I'm, at the moment, I am uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to upgrade this uh, Ford Mustang so I can race with it in B class, maybe. Do some races in this in a video because this is another one that's free DLC that I just decided to get because it was free. Can't really pass that off a buy. Well, I'm just going to I'm gonna spend twenty five thousand pounds. It's it's up to B stack, top of the range, like that, all done as soon as it saves. And 
I am um, it's now 499 it's gonna save again takes ages this part and uh, yeah another car that I'm going I'm on what on I quite like is the is this Infinity Q50 Rouge it's very hard to drive but I'm proud of it nevertheless and uh, then there's just this Astro Tech Line Top Gear Edition. I'm gonna see if I can make anything out of that. See if I can get if I can get anything out of that and then um, do a quick test drive and then finish the episode. See what I can do. With upgrade to D class, I can Plus thirty nine thousand. You're joking. Well, uh, I'm just gonna upgrade a few engine parts. You know, make it a bit. Okay, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna cut, do the upgrades, and come back. See you then. I've come up with an idea to finish off every episode. Either you can choose it, or I will choose it if. If there's like no comments or whatever, but at the end of each episode, I'm gonna choose a. There's gonna be a car, and I'm gonna drive it round the Top Gear test track. This is I, I. This is my favorite track in the game, and today I've gone for the Lotus 211, my better A-class car, but I like the Formula E car more. That's why I use it. So it's going to be a quick lap and then finish. Let's go. It's a nice acceleration. This is not bad to drive. I'm driving it in the Track Toys Championship if you like it. If you want to, if you want to see this in the next episode, please put likes. If I can get to 20 likes, I will race this in the next episode in the track continuing with the track toy championship so if you want to see this make sure to hit the like button and subscribe and comment all the things that would make my day and hopefully if my content is good enough for you to make you so you keep coming back to watch it because it, this, that's the thing that really drives me is seeing people liking their videos and that. Anyway, back to the lap. It's actually been quite a good lap. I haven't, I haven't had handling problems like I have with most other cars. The car's been handling them pretty well. It may be fiery, but it is very, very tame. Grass on the grass. Despite that little, despite that little, little episode on the grass in the se after the second to the last corner, we did in a one twenty two point five. So that is going to be the episode. Just remind if you put if you get twenty likes on this video, I will be driving the Lotus Two Eleven in the Track Toy Championship next episode on Forza Her right, Forza Motorsport Five. So this that's going to be the end of the video. Ultra Game Fourteen here. Please like, subscribe, and I'm out.